Hello and welcome to another video on the $15 Grape iMac G3. And in this video, I thought we would install Yellow Dog Linux on a CF card, replacing this iMac's old clunky hard drive. But it turns out I'm an idiot, and I did not look this up beforehand. And I have a CF card. And I have a CF card adapter. But what I didn't know is that the iMac G3 actually takes a regular old 3.5 inch hard drive. So, I have ordered one of these guys. But until that gets here, I really can't wait to install Yellow Dog Linux. Uh, so we're just going to install it on the regular hard drive. Now, one update to the iMac. So I finally got in the matching grape keyboard that cost as much as the computer itself. And I can finally turn it on like Steve Jobs intended. Hooray! So what is Yellow Dog Linux? Well, Yellow Dog Linux was first released in 1999, about the same time that this computer came out. And it was the go-to Linux distribution for old PowerPC Macs. And I really want to install it on this Mac because I have a lot of nostalgia for old Linux. Back when I was in middle school, my first experience with Linux was a SUSE distribution that I actually bought at Barnes & Noble that came with a book on Linux. And I installed that on my ancient compact 200 megahertz Pentium MMX which was awful, and I had a lot of trouble trying to get that to run, but also a ton of fun doing so, and the sense of gratification I got when I finally got that to run and load up the crazy KDE desktop environment, it was, let me tell you, it was awesome. I remember trying to install Yellow Dog Linux on an old blue and white G3 that I actually bought at a thrift shop, and I could never get it to work, and I don't really remember why. So I'm really hoping that we can get Yellow Dog Linux to load up on this iMac. Yellow Dog Linux was based on Red Hat, uh, and even though Yellow Dog was abandoned back in 2012, some parts still live on. Like the package manager in Fedora, which is now DNF, was originally Yum, and Yum stood for the Yellow Dog Updater Modified. I vaguely remember people didn't like 4.0 of Yellow Dog Linux uh, because they said it was basically a cheap copy of or a cheap port of Fedora Core 2. Uh, so we're going to go as old as I could find, and that is version 2.0 of Yellow Dog, codename Pomona, uh, which should have an early version of KDE. I think KDE 3 was the default. But we're going to see Red Hat's blue curve theme, which to me is kind of the iconic look of old Linux. And I've got my boot CD right here. All right, we're going to go with holding down C at startup and see if that boots off of the CD-ROM like the internet says. Come on, see. Oops, doing something. We've got Linux. Oh my God. Well, would you look at that? That is Yellow Dog 2.0 getting ready to go. And I have no idea if this is going to work beyond this. And I did not look it up at all how to install it. So we're going to have this adventure together. So 
starting installation routine. This may take a while. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Hey, that's X. Got the X mouse and everything. Yellow Dog Linux user license agreement. Agree. What language should be used? English. Okay. I like that everything's very yellow. Before installing Yellow Dog Linux, please let us know the amount of interaction you wish to have in the installation procedure. Default will only ask you questions when necessary, whereas Custom will allow you much more input on the installation process. Um, default. What keyboard do you have? US. You will need the following partitions. Bootloader, Linux Swap, Linux Root. Done. Error, you must have a partition with a mount point of root. Whoops. Edit. Mac OS, HFS. See ya. Add. The max size is 6150. Sounds good to me. Sizes must begin with digits and end in the following format. 1M for 1 megabyte. Well, that's pretty corny. 6150M. M. Okay. Oh no, I have to figure it all out manually. Don't I? Maybe. This module has suffered a fatal error. In caps. Choose continue to go forward. This is risky and may cause damage to your system. Quit to abort the installation or debug to enter the Python debugger. Can't have a partition outside the disk. What? Oh no. It's restarting. Let's have to hold C again. Come on, X. Woohoo! All right, here we are again, ready to accept the 20-year-old license agreement. English. Ah, uh, yep, default. Wait a minute. Did it ask me the same question about keyboard twice? Okay. So I guess I have to do this manually. I need a bootloader, 10 megabytes. Linux swap, 64 to 256 megs, and Linux root, 
the rest of it. One plus gig. Um, okay. Let me just write that down. All right. Edit this. Delete Mac OS. Yep. And add. So the first one, we need 10 megabytes for the bootloader. 10 M. Okay. Bootloader. Okay. I wonder if this is where I failed all those years ago. Next, we need Linux Swap. So why not 256 M? Okay. Linux Swap. And now, Max, regular Linux partition, ext2, nice. And save. Formatting. Well, moment of truth. That window is awfully blank for my liking. Ah! Your discs are now being formatted. This could take several minutes. And again, I really like that... Uh-oh. That was not several minutes. But I guess, uh... Then again, this iMac would have been top of the line when this Linux came out, so... Maybe that's a good sign. Select what type of Linux installation you would like. Base install, home office, development workstation, internet server, LAN, WAN server, or everything. Obviously, I'm going to choose everything. And go. Really like that yellow status bar. Doubling down on that yellow dog theme. It's been stuck at this percentage for a couple minutes now. That's not a good sign. The mouse still works. Can still move this thing around, uh-oh. The status bar did not redraw itself when I moved this window. But I really like how it gives you the X and Y coordinates on the screen when you move it. That's a nice touch. Hmm. This is not promising. Well, I guess let's restart it and see what happens. Oh my god. It knew. I was literally half an inch from the power button. And it started going again. Good lord. Oh my god, I think we've done it. Do you want to configure local networking, not dial-up, for your installed system? Absolutely, I want to connect this ancient Linux directly to the internet. DHCP. And viruses. Select my time zone. 
America, New York. The super user, administrator, manager, etc. account in Linux is the root user. Choose a password for the root user. You must type it twice to ensure you know what it is and did not make a mistake. Remember that a good root password is a critical part of system security. You may want to write this down. So I will choose a super secure root password and just type that twice. Six characters long. Oh my God. Perfect. You should use a normal account for most activities on your system. All right, user ID can be action, full name, action, password, something nice and secure and I guess six characters long. What user account would you like to have on the system? Um, yes. Do you wish to install the Ybin bootloader? Yes, I do. That seems important. Please choose a method for selecting your monitor. Simple. Select from a list of monitors, custom, select resolution and refresh rates. I'll use the list. See if iMac is in here. Wait a minute. Oh, it was the first one. Please choose the screen resolutions you wish to use. Uh, all of them, I guess. How many colors? We recommend at least 16-bit color if your hardware supports it. Sure. Do you want a graphical or text login screen? Graphical. You have just completed the Yellow Dog Linux 2.0 Pomona installation. Excellent. And now I guess the moment of truth? Rebooting system. Hey, the Mac sound. If this boots into OS 9, man. All right, I think we're in business. Whoa. Hey, look at that. Yellow Dog Linux localhost login, session type, KDE, Gnome, another level, fail safe or default. Well, let's do KDE. Login action, and my super secure six character password, go.
Look at that old KDE logo. Oh my god. Why was that so loud? Whoa. Kandoff's useful tips. I guess that's Kandoff. Run on startup? No thank you. Well, I guess what other tips are on here? The window list. Location label in Conqueror is draggable. All right, see you later, Kandoff. What is on here? Wow, look at this old KDE bar. Desktop switcher. Now the big question, can we get on the internet? Let's pop open some Mozilla and see. You are about to create a Mozilla profile based on your Netscape 4 profile. Netscape 4? All right. Oh my god, I think we're on the internet. And this screen resolution is not right. Hmm. Well, let's fix that. Uh, control center? Wow, this feels extremely fast. Much faster than OS X. Um, look and feel? System? Um... Monitor. Screen. There we go. Screen. Um. Where is resolution? Devices. There was an error loading the module. What? Hmm. I think we're going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Terminal X render slash S ten twenty four seven sixty eight not found. Nope. Wonder what Linux this is. What kernel rather? Two point two point one nine. Pretty old. Oh my god. Where is sound in here? Let's turn this volume down a lot. There we go.
Okay, so after a lot of fiddling around and asking uh, a friend on the Vintage Mac subreddit, uh, I finally figured out this stupid resolution thing. So I couldn't change it through any kind of GUI because that would just crash immediately. And there's no xrander on here. So I couldn't just type X R and R resolution. And there's no xorg.conf that I could find. Instead, what I had to do was open a different file in an SU. Let me just zoom this in a little bit. Why don't we do a nice little transparent console while we're at it? There, that's nice. So I had to open SU. And then K edit. And now I can open up the sort of xorg.conf. And it's as slow as molasses. So let's just go to etc. X11. And now I need to open xf86 config dash four. Let's just zoom this in a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. So it's actually the configuration in here and it had all the way down here all the wrong kind of stuff. All the wrong kind of resolutions. See, here are the correct Apple iMac modes, and it had about 500 other ones above it. And then down here, with all the display modes, these are the three that it should be. And it had like three other ones in here too that didn't make any sense. And then I have no idea what the virtual does here really, but I changed that from whatever crazy numbers these were to 1024 by 768. And I did that for all of these display depths, saved it, restarted X and voila, we now have the Correct screen size, it fits within the screen, no more scrolling when you move the mouse to the edge of the screen. Finally, we have fully working Yellow Dog Linux 2.0 Pomona. And now we can finally play around with all the stuff that's in here. So we've seen Kedit, Kedit, that's pretty nice. What version is this? Edit 1.3 from 2000. Wow. No. And look at that cool terminal transparency. That is beautiful. I really love this theme. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Red Hat's Blue Curve theme which is pretty famous. Uh, but why don't we play around with that and see what other themes are on here. Preferences, look and feel, theme manager. Uh, default theme. Hey, look at that. What is this like? Grayscale? Whoa. A 
Look at that eye candy. This one looks a little window-ish. Nope, this one is hideous. Jeez. Wood, perfect. If this one's garish, then that's what I'm after. Whoa. It has like the graphics of leaves in the title bar. My goodness, that is hideous. You can't even read it. What were these people drinking? Let's go back to default here. Nice, clean, and professional. The kind of theme you can write a term paper with. Oh, that's the default KDE theme. Ugh. Wait a minute, how do I get back to the, uh... The cool red hat theme. Did I just lose it forever? Where's the yellow dog Linux stuff? Well, I guess it just took out the background. Huh. Look at that window shade. That's so much better than OS 9. That is so satisfying. All right, what else? Where's the backgrounds? Um, all right, look at that. Tons of them. KDE gear. Oh. Hmm, all right. Centered, max spec. Now we need uh, scaled. Oh, hideous. There we go. All right, what else? Boring, boring, boring. What are these? It's just random garbage Cir circuit. What is that, like a, a tiny pixel art? Scaled to be huge? Why is that even in here? What is this? Oh, I like it. All right. DOS Ding is the best one yet. We'll probably go with that, but let's see what else. No one's laughing three. Correct. No one is laughing. Paper... Planning and probing. It looks like meat. Alright, I think we're going with this cool KDE background. Okay. Oh. Great, I don't even remember what that was called. Ah, Das Ding. Perfect. Look how cool the terminal is with that. Nice. All right, what else is on here? Abbey Word, Emacs, Organizer, Gphoto. Could not load config file. What? I was going to do all of my photo editing 
digital camera stuff in here. develop so we can write some cool KDE applications. One point four. Well, look at all this stuff. Your first C program. What? What is it? No, this is incorrect. There. Oops. Perfect. We've got some cool games. Free sieve. What is black box? Uh, um, what? Hmm. All right. Jazz ball. Press control N to start a game, sure. Um, whoa. Game over, score zero. Does that mean I win? A jumping cube. Nope. Poker, there's a game I can play. Oh, I like the sound effects. game over, but I have a pair of sixes. Hmm. <sighs> nope. I won five dollars for a pair of queens. And I spent it all that same night. Smile, Triss. Uh, very happy Tetris. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oops. What on earth? Uh, well, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, yikes. Yeah, I got, oh, I didn't, I got it, but I didn't got it. Come on, big money. Yeah, I'm winning. No, I'm not winning. Oh, that's uh, something else. Lieutenant Scat, what on earth is that? 
some card game that I've never heard of. Sure, new game, perfect. Um, hold on, the other was not yet gone. Okay. I have no idea what this is. Ooh, space duel. All right, I've got uh, the satellites. Press space to start. Um. Hello. I don't know what's going on there. And of course we have the classic free sieve. Connect to free sieve server action localhost. Sure. Connect. Connection refused. Uh I mean, I am technically online. This is the server for FreeCiv 1.11.4. Now accepting new client connections. All right, let's go. FreeCiv, cause civilization should be free. Um, wait. Now what? I don't actually know how to start a new game. Start. Haha, I got it. Select nation and name. Cornish. Captain Cornwall, the world's greatest superhero or villain. Select my city style, European or classical. Mm, sure, European. Hey, look at that. Let's build my city of Truro. Nope. How about Penguinistia? All right. The city of Penguinistia. 10,000 citizens. Building a palace. Mm, perfect. All right, game over. Let's save this world in the server. And quit. That was a rousing game of free sieve. All right, let's take a quick look at Gnomi and see if that works at all. Action. Secure password. And GNOME. Go. There we go. GNOME. The desktop. That's very dramatic. All right, GNOME hints. Don't need that. All right, no status bar. 
or taskbar. Uh, I don't really know what to do with that. Hey, at least Netscape Navigator works. Man, look at those window decorations. Those are crazy. Can't even like click on the desktop. I wonder if I could left click on the desktop. If I use a different mouse. I hope the different mouse does not want to fit. There we go. And it works. And I can click on the desktop. Excellent. So you can use GNOME if you have not an Apple mouse. I guess that's the only background we have. We have try and revert. Interesting. There we go, nice yellow dog background. Panel. I don't I don't see a panel. Um Okay. Screensaver. Well, look at that screensaver. I can't preview it. Well, look at this one. It's got some fish or sharks. All right, theme selector. Be cool. Is that supposed to be like BOS? YDL2. Yes. That's what I want. The Yellow Dog Linux specific theme. Let's apply all this stuff. All right, I don't know that it's actually done anything. Well, look at all these options. Whoa. Brushed metal. Originally taken from Enlightenment 0 0.15. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Crazy themes. Oh yeah, now we have some Yellow Dog Linux going on. Let's just go back to standard Gnome. -y. I really wish there was like a taskbar. Ah, well.
Well, I guess I'm never ever shutting this down, but that's about it for this overview of the $15 Grape iMac G3 running Yellow Dog Linux 2.0 Pomona from the year 2000. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I have. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this, I'd appreciate a like and or a subscribe. See ya.